Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday, May 5th. This will be another reading, so I'm going to pull from multiple decks and see what comes out. And we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angels, and saints um, and ask for a message for our greater good. I may go live tomorrow at 1 p.m. One question for $20, three cards at least. And um, if anyone is interested in volunteering to help moderate, I would really appreciate it. So just send me a message if you are. Okay, so let's see what comes out. First thing we got, this was a breakdown of a family unit. There's a lot of conflict surrounding this. This deceiver has no peace. They are trapped within their own mind. This comes out all the time. So let's go on to another deck and see what comes out. Wow. This deceiver, you ended it with, it's over, you ended that cycle. They're surrounded by internal and external conflict. This is the second deck, you guys. Second deck. Yeah. This was divine timing. This was about um, balancing the scales. Yeah. <laughs> this person was a fool. They were a fool in how they treated you, and you will have victory over the situation. You're not trapped. You're not stuck. There's absolutely nothing this person can do to interfere with your life. But they are in that energy now. Um, yeah, due to secrets, lies, and player energy. That's, they're going through heartbreak. Let's go on to another deck. You guys aren't going to believe this. This is three decks now. The Seven of Swords have come out in three decks. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag that is very deceptive and manipulative. All three decks. So that's what Spirit wants to talk about. Mm. Yeah, they're heavily burdened. They're heavily burdened by all the deceit, all the deception, all the things that they have done. Um, whew. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you back in their life and they wanna rush in. You know, I feel like this person is in the energy. If they can come back and apologize, then, then their life's gonna get easier, but it doesn't work that way doesn't work like that at all. They're being forced to go through awakening. <sighs> this is awakening to what they've done, who they are as a person. This was a karmic soul connection. Yeah, you transformed and you're headed towards your ten of pentacles. Um, building a stable foundation with someone that's equal to you. Building a legacy. And you've blocked this person. Anything else? Yeah, you're the queen of wands. So you should have been a counterpart to this person, but this person due to free will chose uh, lower vibrational things. I mean, they, they didn't level up. They didn't do what spirit was calling them to do. So you took your power back. You're proud, you're confident, you're independent, you're very driven, and you've released the past. Without anger, without bitterness, without trying to um, retaliate, you just moved on. Yeah, because God gave you the truth. God gave you the truth and you took control back over your life and you released. Okay, let's go on to another deck. Well, let's get another one. Yeah, so this person took no action. They weren't accountable. They took no action at all. They breadcrumbed you, Aries, Leo, or Sag, and you walked away because you listened to your intuition and God told you to cut this person out of your life. God told you to move on. Because that, you have divine love. You're kind, you're loving, you're empathetic, you're very intuitive. And you have inner strength now. 
Yeah, multiple wishes coming true. Mm. And this person <clears throat> that made you feel like you weren't good enough has to watch you be the star, the empress in your power. Have divine love, have a stable union. Mm. They're surrounded by conflict because you chose yourself. Now they wanna com communicate because they're in heartbreak and they see that you've already found inner balance. Yeah, this person <laughs> that juggled you now wants to come in and give you a love offer with all their deception. Every single deck, every single deck, deception, every single deck. But it's over, God's involved now and there's nothing this person can do to interfere with your life. Keep them blocked. Take your power back. You have a brand new beginning with a soulmate, okay? Let's get advice. I just saw 555, five, five, which is change on the clock. saying there's no need for you to worry you have improving health um, they said you know set boundaries be in your power there will be a peaceful resolution and abundance is headed your way okay guys I love you have an amazing day bye bye